Hmm. After that charade, I better save it. Don't fancy doing that again. And through the door. Hello? Stay back! Whoa! I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please! Uh, He's a madman! Madman? Mr. Toombs, you're insane! You need help! It's Corporal! Corporal Toombs! <laughs> you don't get to lie! Not today! Today it all comes out! Okay. I will start by asking what the heck is going on here? What are you talking about? Why do you want to kill this man? Want? What I want is my life back. I, I want to go to sleep without screaming in my dreams. I want the people who sent me to Akuz brought to justice. Can't you see the tombs is crazy? Shoot him! But if I can't get that, I'll have to settle for killing the men who took my life away. Look, I'm not about to just shoot a man randomly. Just get a bit more information before I decide. What did the doctor do to you, Corporal? We were on a coos. When the Thresher Moss hit, my entire unit was wiped out. The Thresher Moss. The scientists were studying them. They let them hit our unit just to watch. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. What kind of tests are we talking about? You can't believe Toombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Ever had Thresher Ma acid in your veins? I have. They wanted to see what it would do. They're part of some organization, Cerberus, that runs secret tests like this. They treated me like a lab animal. This is justice. This man deserves to die. So, are you going to kill me or not? Okay. Um. <laughs> so we can either shoot the crazy guy, or we should let the crazy guy shoot the scientist, or we should maybe say, let's make this public, an alternative solution. And then nobody has to die. Yes. Let's try that approach. Although I don't like the I don't like the press though, so I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> screw the press. And screw the scientist. If what you're saying is true, then pull that trigger. I won't stop you. Mr. Toombs, please! We had no choice! He had a choice and he chose to kill you. They had to die. You get it, right? I had no choice. But it's okay now. Indeed it now is. Now the scientists are just like my unit. No survivors. Oh, so they all died. Well, that's just the moral of the story, isn't it? Tombs' his corpse slumps to the floor. His face pinched with rage just a few moments ago appears peaceful. You salute the corporal's body and turn to leave. So now I don't think the fleet will be happy, but hey-ho, I'm a soldier, he was a soldier, I had to sympathise with him. If somebody tested me, put such a more acid through my damn veins, I think I want to shoot them in the face as well, so... Uh, that's why I let him do it in the end. That's why I let him do it in the end. Back to the Normandy to see what Admiral Hackett thinks about how we handle the situation. I wait with bated breath. You're gonna strip me of my titles, Admiral? Right. Now, we are definitely going to go to find Dr. Salior. Message coming in. Passing it through. Okay. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. Yes? It's unfortunate both the doctor and Toombs died, but 
but I know you did your best under the circumstances. Why, thank you. Thank you again for your assistance, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Ah, he's, uh... He understands. That's why I like this guy. That's why I like Admiral Hackett. He sees he can take a step back and, uh, you know, survey the situation and come to a reasonable conclusion. Not like that maniac ambassador or the pesky council who seem to see things from a, a lopsided, biased viewpoint. No. Okay, here we go. Let's find Dr. Salion. But first of all, I, there may be something in this asteroid belt which I might need to find. I'm not seeing anything flashing. I don't think. Yes. I was seeing something flashing. I thought some, I glimpsed something there, you see. I wasn't 100% sure. Survey the rocky asteroid and get some heavy metal. I'm not the musical guy. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Compounding my, day, my day's horrendous session with blunder upon blunder. First of all, it was a battle. Second of all, I'm pressing the wrong keys. Whatever next. It's probably not recording a fra uh, not fraps. Uh, HTPVR. It's probably not recording either. I've just wasted half an hour of my life. <laughs> Clobacker. Sounds like a Star Wars species. Clobacker is a moderately sized terrestrial world with a hazy hydrocarbon atmosphere. Well, that's nice. Rocky asteroid. Matol. Several attempts to chart Matol have been made, but none have been successful. By normal standards of small rock planet, Matol has a dense atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and argon with a surprising amount of water vapour. Fogs and rain are common on the barren, lifeless surface. Matol is pleasant enough to be considered a terraforming prospect, though its low mass and the high radiation of the energetic blue star Herschel place it fairly far down on the list. 33 degrees Celsius, 0.5 G, 0.49 Earth atmospheres. Seems fairly reasonable. Tungle. MSV Fidel. Klugen. Yeah, nothing of interest. Boring planet. Tungle. Massive terrestrial world, nearly twice the size of Earth. With a dense atmosphere of nitrogen and ethane. Scorching hot surface. A treasure trove for mining. How marvellous. Okay, let's get ourselves to LMSV Fidel. And let's carry on aboard. Owner, Dr. Hart. I wonder if Garrus is going to pipe up here. Take me with you, please. Don't worry, Garrus. You're first on my list. Well, second on my list behind Rex, of course. Here we are. <coughs> okay, guys. I will just say one thing. I do not want this to be as farcical as the last battle we had, so... Uh, <laughs> let us just take our time. Find Dr. Salion. Okie dokie. Don't mind if I do. Are you ready, Garrus? If you find Dr. Salon, you know, you're gonna have to make a decision. I hope you're ready for that decision. Hmm. We're not alone in here. There's quite a few husks, it seems. Uh-oh. Oh, keep pressing left bumper to run. It's... Oh! Behind us! Oh! Look at, oh hey! Rex with his shotgun there! Knocking the test subject off its feet. Thanks for the update. Keep your guns ready. Oh! Two 
ways to go. Thank, oh! you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. Ah. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Garrus? Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. <laughs> Garrus? You know I like your way of thinking. Do what you must. Put him out of his misery so we can get going. Gladly. <laughs> Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. No! Please! Please! Hostile contact! Oh, wh wh what the hell? Where does he think he's going? Excuse me, Doctor. Garrus is trying to kill you here. Don't run away. There you go, Doctor. There you go, Garrus. That was satisfying. Okay. I only came here so that you could get your uh, vengeance. Let's get the hell out of here. Good. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. I will come in. Well, I guess we're done here. Salion's medical equipment is stained with the blood of many species. Pale blue, violet, orange, and more than a few dark red. But his work has ended here today. I'm glad it has. Come! That was quite painless, wasn't it, really? And a few goodies. And some more goodies. And some more goodies. Just in case we didn't have enough. And some more goodies. And, oh, look at that! Hard decryption! Let's see how hard it really is. Du, 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 du. Nope, that's not going around at all. <laughs> and some more stuff as well. <clears throat> Alright, uh, I saw a couple of biotic amps here. Any that are an upgrade to one I've got already? No, not particularly. Rex, any upgrades for your amps? Not really. Garrus, any upgrades for your amps? You don't have an amp, you have an omni tool. Okay. Indeed you do. Let's go. How Rex runs. It's hilarious. Looks like he's got the uh, piles or something. Right there, Rexy. Dr. Hart has been eradicated. Oh, my old little tootsies hurting me today. Ah, right, no rest for the wicked. Let's keep on moving. Oh no, let's not bother doing that. <laughs> let's see where we're moving to first. That would be helpful. Just thought I'd go for a spin, you know, take it around the galaxy a couple of times and uh, come back.